Hi, I'm going to show you how to use use a second function in your calculator. Okay, problems, functions you can use in your calculator are the blue ones. You see the second function here? Well, like everything this. that it's blue on top, that's for the second functions. An example would be, let's say I want to turn off my calculator. I'm done using it. You click on the second function here mm -hmm. and press enter and it turns off. No, wait, you click on the second, and off, and it's mm -hmm. off. The steps is just click, you turn it on, you click home, enter, mm -hmm. you click second button here, second, mm -hmm. the blue one, and you click on here, off. Okay. And that's how you use the second function. The second function I'm going to show you is negative versus subtraction. And I'm going to show you what the negative, how, how to put a negative and subtraction signs. Okay. You click on the, ne here in this, where it says the brackets and a little line, that's the negative, and you put like a number, and if you put an equation, it would give you the answer with a negative sign. So negative 5 plus 3 equals negative 2. You will use this function in everyday math. Mm -hmm. You need to know how to click how to find the then the negative which is this one mm -hmm. this is the negative and this is the subtraction and you can notice because the negative is more smaller than the subtraction three the last function that I'm going to show you is how to clear your home page and you and this is worth this is um, hmm. you can use it and it's very helpful because when you're done with an exam you need to clear your home page so you don't want to show this and the problems that will be on the exam to other people. So let's say you put 2 plus 3 equals 5 and then you want to do another equation. The formulas will keep on accumulating in your screen. So you just click F1 and you say you have a lot of options. You need to find the number 8. You can click on the number 8 or you can use this arrows to clear it and click enter. It's more easy if you just click number eight and clear and it's all clear your home. Hello I'm Lauren and I'm um, the use of brackets. Whenever you're using brackets you're going to use them for problems especially in regular algebra and when graphing and different things like that because it separates the numbers so they're easy to see. An easier way to do it is to what, we're, what you're going to do is, let's say you're doing 5 plus 6, and then you're going to do divided by to get that, and then you're going to do, this is the bracket, this is the first bracket. You need to remember to always press this one first, and you need to, when you're done with it, with the numbers that you're putting inside the brackets, you need to press this one to make sure that it closes. Okay, and then you do 8 plus 3, and then you close the brackets, and then minus 7, so, and then that will give you your answer. Now we're going to be talking about significant digits displaying on, displaying on the mode. Okay, when you're going to use this when your teacher asks you that your calculator to where it only shows two digits two digits or to show seven or maybe even twelve. Okay, to do this you're going to go into mode, this button right here, and you're going to scroll down until you see display digits. And then pressing the side arrow key, you're going to scroll you scroll up and down with the up and down arrows to find which digit your teacher asks you or you want to set it to. Let's say I set it to three digits, okay? 98 divided by 56. Yes, it'll give you a decimal form of what you're looking for, and it'll only go up until those digits before it rounds up. Okay, there. Okay, now we're going to be explaining power or exponents. What you're going to do is you're going to go into um, you're going to type a number, let's say 5, and then you're going to come up here and find this button right here. It almost looks like a triangle without a base. So then you're going to press that, 
and then let's say you needed to find 5 to the second power. You would press 2 and then enter. And it'll show your exponent and your answer.